Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Haziq bin Muhammad Fauzi. I am student from Malaysian Institute of Aviation Technology, University Kuala Lumpur. Today I want to teach you about the optic light. Okay. The, def the definition of optic light. Light waves are part of a group of electromagnetic waves or radiation that include X-ray, ultraviolet, infrared rays, and radio wave. Light waves have a certain property which are common. They travel through space at the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second or 300,000 km per second. They get energy from one place to another and on absorption cause a rise in temperature of the absorbing body. Next, electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spe spectrum is the range of all possible frequency of electromagnetic radiation. The electromagnetic spectrum of an object has a different meaning and, in, and is instead the characteristic distribution of electromagnetic radiation emitted or absorbed by that particular object. The electromagnetic spectrum extends from below the low frequency used for modern radio communication to gamma radiation at the short wavelength, high frequency end, thereby covering wavelength from thousands of kilometers down to a fraction of the size of an atom. Until the middle of the last century, it was believed by most physicists that this spectrum was infinite continuous. Next, we talk about dispersion of light. Dispersion is the separation of light into a spectrum by refraction. The index of refraction is actually a function of wavelength. For longer wavelength, index is slightly small. Thus, red light refracts less than violet. Example, these pictures show how the dispersion of light could be happen. Okay. This effect causes white light to spread into its spectrum of colors. Red light travels the fastest in glass has a smaller index or refraction and bends the least. In other words, the higher the frequency, the greater the bending. Next, the color combination. The color combination is object appear color because the surface will absorb some of the frequency and reflect others, which is, is red, green, and blue are known as light primary colors as they cannot be created. Secondary colors can be created by mixing two primary colors. This is for example for color combination. Next, reflection. A ray of light heading towards an object is called an incident ray. If it reflects off the object, it is called a reflected ray. This is example of uh, how the reflection happened. This is incident ray and this is a reflected ray. Okay. A perpendicular line drawn at any point on a surface is called a normal. In the bracket, just like with a normal force. The law of reflection states that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Next, diffuse of reflection. Diffuse reflection is when light bounces off a non-smooth surface. Each ray of light still obeys the law of reflection, but because the surface is not smooth, the normal can point in a different for every ray. If many light rays strike a non smooth surface, they can they could be reflected in many different directions. For example, the figure one. This is the cause of diffuse reflection. Okay. Next is concave and convex mirror. Concave and convex mirror are curved mirrors similar to portion of a sphere. This is a concave mirror and this is a convex mirror. Concave mirror reflected light from their inner surface like the inside of a spoon. And a convex mirror reflect light from their outer surface like the outside of a spoon. 
This is for example a convex mirror and the concave mirror. Next, we talk about refraction of light. Refraction is the bending of light. It also happens with sound, wet, water, and other waves as it passes from one transparent substance into another. This bending by refraction makes it possible for us to have lenses, magnifying glasses, prism, and rainbows. Even our eye depend upon this bending of light. Without refraction, we wouldn't be able to focus light onto our retina eye. This is uh, the table, the reflect index of some transparent substance. The example of substance is air, water, glass, and also a diamond. This is a Snell's law. Snell's law states that a ray of light bends in a such way that the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant. This is is a, this is a formula for the Snell's law. This is a example for the picture. Next, lenses. Lenses are, has two lens. is a convex or a concave. Lenses are made of transparent material like glass or plastic that typically have an index of refraction greater than that of air. Each of a length to face is part of a sphere and can be convex or concave. Or one face may be flat. If a lens is thicker at the center than the edge, it is a convex or converging. And a lens which is thinner in the center than the edge is a concave or diverging. This is a convex lens. This feature is rays traveling from the focus will reflect it parallel to the principal axis. And this rays traveling directly through the center of a convex lens will leave the lens traveling in the exact same direction. Next, we talk a compact concave lens. This is a ray traveling parallel to the principal axis of a concave lens will reflect as if forming is coming from the focus. This is a ray traveling toward the focus will reflect parallel to the principal axis. This is a ray traveling directly through the center of a concave lens will leave the lens traveling in the exact same direction just as with a convex lens. Okay. Next, the topic is a wave and motion. Wave of motion have, has a mechanical wave, which is its energy can travel in two forms of method, with by particle and by wave. A wave is a disturbance of a medium which transport energy through the medium without permanently transporting matter. In a wave, particles of the medium are temporarily displayed and then return to the, their original position. The two common forms of the mechanical wave are transverse transfer wave and longitudinal wave. Next, <coughs> transverse wave. In a transverse wave, particles of the medium are displaced in a direction perpendicular to the direction of energy transport. The particles do not move along with the wave, they simply oscillate oscillate up and down their individual equilibrium position as the wave passes. Take a single particle and observe its motion. This is a example for transverse wave and this is a wavelength. Next, we talk about the longitudinal wave. In a longitudinal wave, particles of the medium are displaced in a direction parallel to energy transport. The particles do not move down the tube with the wave. They simply oscillate by and pause about their individual equilibrium position. The wave is seen as the motion of the compressed region. Example, it is the pressure wave. 
which move from left to the right. Next, a water. Next, water wave. Water wave are an example of wave that involve a combination of both longitudinal and transverse motion. As the wave travel through the water, the particle travel in the clockwise circle. The radius of circle decreases and the, and the depth of water increases. Observe the particle in the blue color as it indeed travel in the clockwise direction. This is example of a water wave. Next, wave characteristic. Example, uh, the first one is wavelength. The distance between the two cranes. This, this is wavelength. The frequency. The number of wave crests that pass a point every second. If one crest goes by you every second, then we say that the frequency is one cycle per second or one hertz. Next, amplitude. The height of the wave crest above the undisturbed position. And the fourth, velocity. The speed and direction that the wave crest itself is moving. This is a uh, example for the dose for characteristic. Next, we talk about the sounds. The definition of sound. Sound travel through air or other medium in the form of longitudinal wave. Sound waves are called a acoust acoustic wave. A region of high pressure and low pressure, non respectively as compression and refraction. The sonic range that which can be detected by the human ear has frequency between 20 and 20,000 hertz approximately. The speed of a sound increase of air temperature, therefore measuring the aircraft speed will vary at different altitude level. This is an uh, example for the definition of sound and this is a formula. Next, intensity. Determined by amplitude of the sound wave. The higher the amplitude, the higher the sound. Measured in a decibel ratio of one sound to another. And one, the, the smallest change in sound intensity the human ear can detect. This is an example for the intensity. Next, we talk about the frequency. Frequency is the number of vibration complete per second. This is a formula for the frequency and unit hertz or pitch set. Higher the sound, the higher pitch. Next is a propagation. Transmission and reception of sound has a source, medium, and lastly a detector. Range of human can hear 20 to 20,000 hertz. Next, Doppler effect. The apparent rise in the pitch or frequency of a sound as it source approach the hearer and the decrease in pitch as the source move away. Example for the Doppler effects. Next, vibration. First wave which radiate out from their source at the speed of sound. Aircraft move less than speed of sound. The sound move ahead of the aircraft. And the aircraft flies at the speed of sound produce shock wave. Next, the speed of sound. The speed at which the mechanical vibration of sound travel in an elastic medium. Lastly, the varies with temperature and altitude. Next is max number. The ratio of the speed of the airplane to the speed of sound in the same atmospheric condition, which is a max number equal to the speed of the aircraft per speed of sound. Next, resonance. The natural frequency of a given object vibrates naturally or without the external force. Two objects have similar frequency. If one vibrate, the other can move too, which is a destructive force.
Next is wave. Wave property. The period of a wave is the time required for one complete wave to pass a given point and thus frequency. F equal to 1 over T with its unit. Hertz, cycle or second. The wavelength is the distance between two adjacent wave crests. Next is sound. Sound waves are longitudinal waves that consist of varying pressure. They can travel through solid, liquid and gases. The regions of sound wave consist of region of compression and refraction that follow each other. The change in pressure cause our eardrum to vibrate with the same frequency. This produces the sensation of sound. The speed of sound is a constant for a given material, material under a given condition, which is a, the scale used for loudness or sound intensity level is decibel. Normal conversation equals to 60 dB rock concert 110 dB. City traffic equal to 90 dB. A jet aircraft equal to 140 dB, which is damaging to the human ear at a distance of 30 meter. This is an example to the sound. Next, sound travel at different speed in different material. Air is poor conductor. Water is better and solid is the best depend on the molecule arrangement. More dense the solid material, the better conductor uh, in the bracket sound travel faster. At sea level, at standard and atmospheric condition, sound travel at 761 mile per hour. In the bracket, 661.2 knots or about 1,160 feet per second, which is, is 340.4 meter per second. In water, sound travel much faster at 1,435 meter per second or 2,789.6 knot, since water is denser than air. This is an example. Sound. Next, Doppler effect. When there is relative motion between a source of wave and observe the apparent frequency of the wave is different from their frequency at the source. This change in frequency is called the Doppler effect. Next, when the source of sound is moving, the frequency ahead of it will be higher than it is behind it. Example, car passes over you. Which is, as it approaches, the sound becomes louder and highly pitched. As it passes, the intensity drop off at frequency decrease. This is shown how the Doppler effect. In the case of sound wave, the frequency F is given by. This is a formula for the Doppler effect. Lastly, vibration. In the guitar string, the simplest way it vibrates is at its fundamental frequency. The amplitude in bracket size of the oscillation varies along the string. In the bracket, a point where the amplitude is zero is called a node, and the maximum point is an anti -node. The frequency depends on several factors, which is the tension. Increasing the tension increase the fundamental frequency. Next, the length. Having the vibrating length double the fundamental frequency. Next, the mass per meter. Every string vibrate more slowly than the lighter ones. Different frequencies sound different to the ear. High frequency are high not to you, but it is high pitch to the musician. A stretched string can vibrate in various ways or mode. This can occur at multiple the fundamental frequency are called harmonic. Quality of the sound is determined.